hitter. The hitter we want to hail is the cricket bat, the wonderful willow whacker that worries the whole wide world. A rough sawn block of willow is beginning to look like a straight blade. Up to the, bat, uh, the Battle of Waterloo, cricket bats were slightly curved, but later they became straight up, just like those in the belfry. The only concession to the curve is at the bottom of the blade, so that you can make a straight crease and centre well. The rib at the back, like most other ribs, is a very ticklish business. The handle consists of 16 Sarawak canes glued together, and rubber strips, or springs as they're called, are placed between them. The rubber makes the handle flexible and helps the player to rub along nicely in his old age. The handle is given a delicate streamline that makes every ball not lost but gone for four. And now the young blade is being spliced. It was about a hundred years ago, or as we cricketers say, a century, that the one-piece bat gave way to the spliced handle. It's the turn of the shoulder. A nicely turned shoulder is the hallmark of craftsmanship. Fine work with a sandpaper belt smooths off any rough bits that remain. The surface of the blade is now a symphony of sleekness, and if it isn't, the expert can tell at a glance. What's left is final and binding, oh well, binding anyway, and the thread-bound handle may soon be wielded by another Hobbs of the future. Meanwhile, here's Grace to be going on with.